what I need in order for this to be in the code is I, that I need x times each row mod 2 to be 0. So in other words, what I can do is I can set up indicator functions on each, excuse me, each column of each transpose. This indicator function, ix, is equal to the product from k equals 1 to m of ik of x. In other words, the only way i of x can be 1 is if every one of these terms is 0. In other words, every i1, i2, i3, i4, and so on, all of those are 1. If any one of those is not satisfied, then I have a single 0 in this product, which zeroes out the rest of it. Why that's even more particularly interesting is that each of these, um, each of these indicator functions are not necessarily functions of the entire vector x. So for instance, we saw <coughs> here is a parity check matrix for a Hamming code. Um, Similarly, the 
second row is only a function of x1, x2, x4, and x6. And the third row is only a function of x as a third um, indicator is only a function of x1, x2, x3, excuse me, x1, x3, x4, and x7. So in this specific example, e.g., if H is a Hamming code parity check matrix, factors, and I have seven variables. Call this factor 1, F1, F2, and F3. F1 is a function of X1, X2, X3, and X5. F2 is a function of x1, x2, x4, and x6. And F3 is a function of x1, x3, x4, and x7. So this is the factor graph for I of x. Add that to the observation factors, like so, to form the complete factor graph of the code and the corresponding observations. Now, what's the problem with this factor graph? contains lots and lots and lots of cycles. So, um, in fact, any non-trivial code, the factor graph expressed like this, contains cycles. Um,